Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on faction mobs. So as you can see in front of me, we have a whole selection of different mobs that are all in my faction and they will obviously attack enemies. So um, on my right we have an archer, a mage, a titan, a spirit bear, which is very cool, that uses the new polar bear that they added, and a swordsman. So the cool thing about the archers and swordsmen, you can actually change the colour. So um, the way to do this is for slash fm color spelt the american way and then the rrggbb code so um, i used six f's to begin with which is white if we do this code this will be sort of a nice blue color so um i'll show you how to spawn one in quickly if we do fm spawn followed by the names you can either do titan spirit bear archer all of that good stuff and that will use power up so uh, if you have more members of your faction you'll have more power and uh, you can spawn more of these in. So that is very cool. And if we do FM order, you can um, allow them to have specific orders. So you can select them depending on which ones you want for a, an order. Uh, so let me just deselect some of these um, and just select this one. So uh, this is the only guy that should be selected. And we can give them an order to follow me. So uh, always just follow. So he will be following me as well as all the others that are selected. So we can tell them to go home, which will send them home. So uh, they will walk back home. It's really cool, this plugin. And I'm going to uh, deselect him and was it this guy? Yes. So we can set their home by doing FM order set home. And that will set our position as the home. So um, this is a really, really awesome plugin. As you can see, there are so many other things. You can tell them to TP to you, so TP here. If I go a bit further away, you can tell them to TP home, such as that. You can tell them to patrol here or have a wander. So uh, order, let's select a few more. Let's select all of these guys and uh, tell them to patrol here, like that. So they'll walk from here to the home, patrolling for enemies. So uh, the way to spawn them in is you've got to be in claimed area that you own. So make sure you do F claim and then you can spawn in uh, these mobs. So that is very, very, very cool. And as you can see, if you right click them, they all have different healths, um, which is very cool. So they are killable. Um, I believe normal t um, iron golems have really high health, but 40, that's quite low. It's only double a player's health. So uh, yeah, we are going to go into the config file now to have a look at what we can edit in there. So here we are in the plugins folder and if we go into factions mobs, we can see all of these files. So I should point out that it not only works with factions, it also works with towny, simple clans and kingdoms. So whatever one you use, it will hook into that. So uh, here we are in the main config file. Uh, let's start at the bottom. So we have all of the different mobs. We have the maximum health, whether it's enabled or not, and how much power it actually costs. So I showed this in game. We were at 50 something power used up because I had spawned so many in. You could reduce that, you could increase it, and you can also make it cost money, obviously, depending on your server. So up here, we can change the various speed and um, patrol speed and range as well, which is really cool. We have uh, whether it displays the mob's faction. I think that's quite cool. And the minimum faction rank to actually spawn one in. So member, you might want to increase that um, to owner. So only the owner can spawn them in. And whether they spawn in your own territory. So obviously you have to claim an area to spawn one in if this is set to true. And friendly fire. So it's probably best to turn that off and whether they attack mobs or not. Mobs per faction, limited, so zero is obviously no limit, but I would set this to 10 at a maximum. You obviously don't want too many, depending on how big your server is. So that is the config file. We have uh, the messages. Obviously, you don't really want to edit this unless you want to, but there's no real reason to. We have the error, um, the error document, which will only appear if you have an error. I found uh, this error because I didn't have M core. If you use factions, make sure you have M core. And then we have the config defaults, obviously. So uh, yeah, that is the plugin. 
Download it for free off of Spigot or Bucket depending on which version you use, and I'll see you next time.